Hello everyone, it's Magic here and today you get a slightly different version of Magic. I'm more elegant today. It's my wife's and my daughter's birthday today so you can wish them all the best in the comments. And the video I have for you guys today is a Lightroom video. I'm going to be editing a bunch of photos from A7R5 from a bunch of different shoots. I'm going to show you how to create your own presets. I'm going to show you how to edit them from scratch. And yeah, we're going to play with some of these files. And keep in mind, like so far, the Lightroom is actually not yet ready to read fully like default A7R5 files. So what I needed to do is to download EXIF tool and type some magical comments in the terminal. So if you find yourself uh, having A7R5 already and Lightroom cannot read the files yet, uh, in the description there's like whole instruction how to make these files work in your Lightroom. Also this video is sponsored by Imagine so I'm also going to show you how quickly Imagine can edit those images. But I'm going to start from scratch and I actually want to create like a vintage looking preset with you guys now. So first of all this image, uh, love it, very nice image. I'm just going to bring down the exposure and what I see here is I really like that light here in the back. Uh, so I'm going to just try to maybe highlight this. So I'm going to move my highlights up. Oh, let's let's try doing this on actually just background. So I'm just going to skip this here. I'm going to create the mask with the background only. Bam, I have a background. And now I'm going to move the shadows down and highlights up. Slightly exposure down. Okay. I managed to slightly darken the background just to get this little thing here well visible. And now what I want to play with is since they're wearing this dark clothes and everything is bright here, I want to create this like kind of expired film look. Um, so in order to do that, I'm going to go to my tone curve. And here in the tone curve, you can control the points of lights in like the different channels. So here in order to get that, uh, that vintage expired film look, I'm going to go to green channel. And what I want to do here in the shadows, I want to introduce some of the reds. So let's see, yes. See, I'm getting that slight, nice kind of a red uh, vibe coming only from the shadow. So in all the darker parts of the frame. All right, I really like this, this reddish color to that frame. So then what we want to do now is add some of the grain. Uh, I do feel that like the vintage look always comes with the grain. So I'm going to move the, the, the size of the grain, make it slightly bigger because we are having like a really big file like this. Perfect. And now what I want to do is introduce some contrast to the frame. So I'm going to play here with this. I want their faces to be brighter. Um, so I'm going to, what I'm going to do is just going to add select subject and just add highlights slightly. Maybe try exposure a bit. I wish her face was brighter. So another mask here, select people. And I'm just going to select the lady and I'm going to do the face skin. The body skin, not so much, but eyes, lips, hair, not so much hair. Create the mask and now highlights up. You see, I'm bringing her face up and exposure to. Okay, that's nice. You can definitely see that her face now is, is way more visible in the frame. So what I want to do now, I'm going to go back to my tone curve and look at this. Uh, so I was playing with the green channel. Now I'm going to move to like all the channels. So this is like full channel because I want to introduce some of this kind of faded look to the image. So in order to do that, um, I'm actually going to take the whites of the white point towards the gray. And I'm going to move the black point also from a black point towards the gray. You see, I'm fading the image, but also losing the contrast. So to bring back the contrast, I'm just going to do a little S curve here. Bam. I keep the one point in the middle and then the S curve to get the desired contrast. I'm really liking this look now. Bam. Bam. I think like this kind of photo needs even more grain. So I'm just going to do a bigger grain since we're working with like really big files. And actually that's almost what I want. I might just reintroduce some of these shadows up. So look at this. So there's more of them in the frame. And now like I'm just going to brighten the lower part of the photo with just linear gradient. Just going to move it here. Just brighter. 
bam. All right, I like this. This is a before, this is after. So I created this sort of like a vintage kind of expired film look. What I wanna do is I wanna use it on other images. I have like a couple other of these dancing shots. So I wanna create a preset now. So I'm gonna click here and create my own preset from that. Uh, I might just create a new group here. So I'm gonna call it dance preset create. So in my opinion, the best way to create a preset is to remove white balance and exposure settings because these are going to be very specific to a specific image. You also don't want to introduce any of the masks that I created here in, into any other images uh, because these were specific again to these images. For me, I also don't use the preset on transform here. So the only thing that will get is going to be all these settings here. It's going to be the color grading. So my tone curve, which is the most important in this particular image. Um, and the effects, which is grain, which I also do want. So dance preset, I'm going to call it dance preset, dance preset, expired film, look. Oh, I call it lul. Okay, it's going to be expired film, lul. And then I'm going to go to the next image. First, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to fix white balance. So it's also white-ish, the exposure. So these two settings that doesn't, a preset does not apply to these. I'm going to just make a good crop and I'm gonna just bam add this preset and I have consistent look over these two images this is the same styling the same kind of look you might want to play with the white balance just to get the right uh, amount of the balance of the color since like here from the window we had like more sunlight coming in uh, but yeah overall I really like this image the second one I'm gonna start with the same I'm just gonna fix the white balance I'm gonna um, boost the exposure, I'm gonna do the crop, bam, I like this, and then I'm gonna add the dance preset to it. Bam, I like it, maybe, maybe this one needs just a slight here adjustment on the tint, but overall, great image. I'm just gonna repeat the same thing here. Look at this, bam, bam, Bam. Just a slight adjustment. So this is how simply you can just create and edit with your own preset. And now I'm going to try to process all of these images through Imagine, which is the sponsor of this video. Imagine is the AI tool that actually learns how you edit or learn how other photographers edit and can apply these edits to hundreds of photos within a second. So here what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually use this catalog and I'm going to use one of the talent profiles from Imagine. I'm a big fan of Fer Juaristi. He's one of my favorite wedding photographers. I'm going to try his edit on these photos to see how they look. As you can see, it's like very simple. You just select your catalog, select which photos you want to edit, just to name the project and boom, it's going to upload the DNGs. And within a couple of seconds, like since it's only 16 images, they're all uploaded. And then the actual edits takes like a couple seconds per image. So as you can see, after maybe 20 seconds, all of these photos are edited. I can open this Lightroom catalog and let's look at the photos. Bam, all 16 images, let's go from the first one. So look at this, we have this faded image. I really like, look at this, all these five images look exactly the same. So it's very consistent in terms of the way it's edited. I can see the grain, I can see, you know, the film vibe here on these images too. So this is a, this is the Fer Juaristi vibe. Oh, this is very nice, very nice. And here you have the same look all on these portrait images as well. So it like sort of this brownish uh, film look. I'm, I'm gonna try to recreate this look actually. So if you like this, if you wanna try Imagine, you can try it for free. If you use the link in the description, you get 1,500 images edited for free. You can use talent profiles, you can create your own profile, but also there's an amazing Black Friday deal giving you 25% off of your editing. So if you are stuck with like hundreds of thousands of images to edit from your wedding season, this is actually a great opportunity to just get a head start with Imagine. 
Now let me go back to my catalog so I can try to edit a couple of these images. Maybe uh, I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to create a new preset as well. I'm going to try to create this like kind of brownish filmish uh, look. So what I would do here actually um, is I'm going to do to HSL. So I'm going to try to play with the colors. So here, if I'm going to click on this little icon, I can just click on a color and change either hue or saturation or luminance of the color. So I'm going to start with hue because I feel like the, the majority of this look comes from like different hues of different colors, like especially green is the color that with most of these like kind of filmic presets, like the green is gone. So I'm going to try to move the green towards the yellow side. You see that already gives me that sort of like a brownish look. That's a good start here. And I'm going to take actually the saturation down as well of this color. So that will be a good start. And then I'm going to go to my tone curve. And I'm going to also reintroduce that fade that I did before. So I'm going to move the black and white points. I'm going to create a point in the middle and I'm going to create uh, this, this S curve to get to get this contrast and I'm already liking this actually. I, I did like change these like colors to brownish and create this nice faded contrasty look. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to just play with the exposure and highlights. So I'm going to bring the highlights down actually and shadows up like sort of like slight edge of the air look and blacks down to reintroduce slight of that contrast. The texture, let me just zoom in to see I think I'm going to just bring the texture overall down to get like a softer look and clarity slightly to get this dreamy, dreamy-ish effect. And now I'm going to add the grain on top of that. So I'm going to do like a 40, slightly bigger. Like grain is always going to be dependent on how big your files are. These are A7R5 files. So there's a lot of megapixels here, but, uh, but actually this is very, very nice i like this as a starting point so this could be also my preset i'm going to save it save it as a new preset i'm going to add it brownish uh, i'm going to add it to the dance the preset so effect grain no transform no white balance no exposure bam this is my nice go to so i went from here to here very nice and i'm going to just apply it here and see what tweaks do i need like how well it performs actually it's really nice maybe it just needs slight white balance and exposure correction, but it gives me the look I wanted. I'm going to go here also brownish, bam. Here the image is overall darker. I'm going to just change the crop on here, change the white balance, add some contrast and bam. This is actually really, really cool. Brownish, once again, boom, boom. Gives me a great start. So yeah, this is it. I'm actually quite happy. I created two interesting presets. Like these are like very specific looks, but if you want to download these, uh, I actually can offer them for free. So go in the description, you can download these, play with them, play with your own presets. I do recommend that. Obviously, if you want a consistent look, you want to stick to one. I personally stick to my own Magic Cadabra presets. You can also purchase them if you like. But yeah, I do recommend to play with Lightroom, to play with the features or play with Imagine. Thanks again for sponsoring this video. And thanks to all of you guys for watching this this video and make sure to watch my others A7R5 videos and I see you guys in the next video. Ciao ciao!